Here are the significant dates for the month of December in Marcos history. But before we proceed, please pause and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you will be notified of our latest videos. And we thank you for that. Now let's educate. On December 1, 1984, the first half of Line 1 from Baclaran to Central Terminal of the Manila Light Rail Transit System, popularly and informally known as the LRT, was officially opened. The second half from Central Terminal to Monumento was opened on May 12, 1985. The Manila Light Rail Transit System is the first in Southeast Asia, which includes Singapore and Malaysia. On December 7, 1972, Carlito de Mahilig, a geodetic engineer, attempted to kill First Lady Imelda Marcos during an awarding ceremony of her National Beautification and Cleanliness Contest at Nayong Pilipino in Pasay City. It was witnessed by Filipinos as it was aired over national television. On December 13, 1938, Ferdinand E. Marcos was arrested for the murder of Julio Nalundasan. Then in 1940, Attorney Ferdinand E. Marcos, who topped the 1939 bar exams with an average score of 98.01%, orally argued his own case in front of Supreme Court Justice Jose P. Laurel. And on October 22, 1940, Marcos was acquitted of the charge of murder and liberated from imprisonment. On December 16, 1975, President E. Marcos signed Presidential Decree No. 851, known as the 13-month pay bonus. President Marcos emphasized that it is necessary to further protect the level of real wages from the ravage of worldwide inflation, and that Christmas season is an opportune time for society to show its concern for the plight of the working masses so that they may properly celebrate Christmas and New Year. On December 25, 1968, Ferdinand E. Marcos served as godfather at the wedding of Fernando Po Jr. and Susan Roses, which took place at Santuario de San Jose, Green Hills, Mandaluyong. On December 30, 1965, the inauguration of Ferdinand E. Marcos as the 10th President of the Philippines occurred at the Carino Grandstand, Manila. The inauguration marked the beginning of his first four-year term as President. It was during the inauguration President Marcos said his famous quote, this nation can be great again. This I have said over and over. It is my article of faith, and divine providence has willed that you and I can now translate this faith into deeds. And on December 30, 1969, the second inauguration of President Ferdinand E. Marcos took place at the Carino Grandson, Manila. This marked his second four-year term as President of the Philippines. In his inaugural speech, he strongly said, Today with us, self-reliance is no longer an option. It is our fate. Thank you for watching. For more information, you can visit our website bagonglipunan.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.